My husband's working from home today, so he's in the orangery. He's set up office in there, and I figured I'd come and chat to you guys in the lounge. Um, I'm three weeks and two days post-surgery, gastric bypass, and feeling really well again today. I've actually been out and had another bike ride this morning, um, and I did further. I'm so cheesed off with myself, though. I downloaded an app, an app onto my phone that I used to use in China, actually, and, and everywhere we were. We cycled around places called Map My Ride, and you'd be able to see how far you'd gone, you know. And it, it's interesting to, to think when you've been on a bike ride to see how many miles you've actually covered. And the first time I meant to mention to you, I did download it, and I got halfway, like, just out of my gates and turned up the road, and she's going you have traveled 100 kilometers per hour. And I was like, what? She just kept talking, talking. So I pulled over and I actually deleted the app. And I thought it must have just been a silly mistake. So I downloaded the same app and on my second bike ride, exactly the same thing. I was like, Arr. so this morning I downloaded a completely different app, told my husband all about it. And I was quite excited. I've been on a really long, long cycle ride today. And um, my husband explained to me how to use the there's a couple of buttons. I've told you I've got an assisted pedaling bike or pedal assisted bike. And you've got one button that has three things. I didn't have a clue what that did. And obviously you've got your normal gears. So he explained to me this morning, if I put one of these buttons to the left and I was going up a hill, I should be able to do it and it will assist me. Um, and it did actually this morning. I didn't, I didn't have to get off my bike until I was up a really steep hill. So that really pleased me. And I was shattered. I was out of breath, I was puffing and panting, so I know I'm doing myself some good. As much as I've got a pedal-assisted bike, I'm still um, having a really good workout. And I went right up into Upper Bucklebury, came down a different route onto the A4 and back along the canal. And I thought, yes, I'll be able to say exactly how many miles I've done. Guess what? The app doesn't work. Just my bloody luck, really, isn't it? So um, I'm on the search. My husband, he said he'd have a look for me a bit later and find one that does work. Because um, it's just really frustrating when you want to do something. It's a bit like somebody going out for a walk and forgetting your Fitbit. Because you're like, ah, the whole point of it is to be able to record what you've done. So anyway, feeling good. I've got, I've got a tiny bit of a pain in my tummy today. Um, I don't think it's anything to worry about. When you drink, I've explained before, if you drink something too fast, or you take a too big a gulp, it doesn't sit well. And that's what it feels like. So... I had some different Weetabix this morning. I had some um, fruit and nut ones, which were actually really nice, although they felt heavier. When I have a normal Weetabix, it's very light and I drown it in a lot of milk, so it's very fluid. And this one was um, their mini Weetabix. And I, they just felt slightly heavier in my tummy. But I, I knew I had to eat something if I was going to go out on the long bike ride. And then I've had my forcible this morning and somebody's asked me on Instagram, how am I finding that? Now, considering initially when I was told or I discovered that I thought I'd have to have soluble meds I had a bit of a meltdown about it and when you sit and think about why did I have a childish meltdown about solubles I don't know about you lot but when I was younger I think I must have been force fed a soluble aspirin or disparate something as a pain relief and it was so gross I've got that etched on my memory that I was going to reach, I was going to be sick and vomit. And of course, in hospital, even the soluble Lanzaropol, the stomach protector ones, which I had for two weeks, don't get me wrong, they weren't nice, but they weren't the worst thing in the world, even though they were quite gritty. And um, so the force of all, back to those, which are the multivitamin that you're advised to actually um, have for the rest of my life. Again, the one that I took in tablet form that's bloody huge made me sick. But I am tolerating the, the soluble one. I think medical science has come along in such a long way. Whereas when I was a child, it would have been just a soluble tablet. In a glass, drink it down. Didn't matter what it tastes like. They didn't care. Whereas now they've made the taste better. And not only better, it overshadows any kind of vitamins or medicines that's in there. And it's quite a strong orangey drink. So if you don't like orange drink, I guess you won't like the forcible soluble. But for me... It's absolutely fine, and and like I said to you, this is my this is my calcium supplement, and you can see it's a little bit it gathers a little bit at the bottom. It's kind of a powdery soluble. I have to have one of these a day and one of the um, forcible. So by the time I've drunk these two, I've already had 
half of my daily intake of fluid. So that's not bad going. And I have also been really, really good um, since surgery at keeping this bottle of weak squash with me. And I am drinking at least two of these, which is a litre, if not three. So I, I'm quite proud of myself in that respect. And the reason I'm doing that, I think I might have touched on before, you know, I hear so many other people, I'm reading stories about people having gallstone problems after having this surgery because they haven't drunk enough fluid to keep it fl flowing through. So I'm not going to be one of those. I am going to keep my fluid intake up and I'm not finding it too difficult apart from forgetting that I can't drink a big gulp. I need to really sip it quite slowly. So just briefly, yesterday I went out for lunch with my friends. I had a fantastic day, by the way. It was absolutely lovely. My first kind of social since surgery, so it was good to catch up with everybody. Um, but it was funny because when I went, I looked at the menu beforehand and I really thought, oh, I'm going to have the halloumi salad or the halloumi wrap. Didn't matter how much I thought I could eat of it. And actually, when it came to it, there was a ramen on the menu. So it's like a noodley soup. And I, oh, yes, absolute perfect choice for me. It was great. Um, and my drink, when they came around to order drinks, I think normally, I'm not really a fizzy person lover. I'd like a wine more than anything. But um, generally, if I was on a diet, I would have a Diet Coke because you know you can with a lunch. Um, but I asked her if she had any flat drinks and she said well I've got black currant squash or or lime so I agreed I'd have a black currant squash with just tap water and of course when it came it didn't even occur to me to ask if it was sugar free until it came and luckily before I put it in my mouth I did ask the waitress and said is this sugar free by any chance that I doubt it very much and I said well I can't drink it then obviously I paid for it or you know we paid for it and it went one of the other people had it on the table but it's little things like that until you do it you just don't think because I don't want to ever risk having a dumping syndrome while I'm out with my friends obviously so there's no way I'd have any sugar or anything at all and it's not a bad habit to get into I guess it's just a you know really really check luckily I had that with me so I was out and I said to the girl I'm sorry then I'm gonna to have to drink my and she said no 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 problem I did say I'd had stomach surgery and actually the friend the other friend I was with Jamie he's also had some stomach surgery not the same as mine obviously he's got the dreaded c word and lots of other things wrong with him bless him but we were we were laughing at ourselves because we we're both kind of invalid he was asking about how his meat was cooked and I was asking about certain things because of my surgery so it it made it quite light-hearted and, and fun but the day was lovely I couldn't eat I, what I need to remind myself is so I had a ramen and it's not as big as like a wagamama's bowl it was quite shallow um but I obviously added chicken to it I didn't need the chicken well didn't need the chicken Maybe when I see my dietitian, she'll say I do because of the protein that you'll need to put in. But um, as for feeling full wise, I really didn't need the chicken. I had a couple of bites of it, drank the the majority of the watery soup and I had a couple of bits of pak choy. See, my body still is really, really craving fresh vegetables. So the pak choy was just mm, delicious with a few Asian spices in, in the soup. So that was really, really nice yesterday. And we had a walk around. I didn't hit my 10,000 steps, but I, I'm not going to do that every day. And I'm really glad I gave myself a break from exercise because my bum wasn't quite so sore getting on the bike this morning, which was good. But it, I just I was thinking while I was riding around Berkshire this morning that I couldn't have picked a better time to do this surgery. You know, had I have, I, I couldn't have planned it any better to have my surgery the middle of March. Spring has arrived. And I'm able to get out and cycle and walk. And it's just the most beautiful time in the United Kingdom. It really is when all the flowers are starting to grow and the birds are obviously mating and nesting. And, you know, it just it, it's quite it, it makes it more pleasurable. You know, had I have had this done in the winter, probably wouldn't have got out and had as much motivation for exercise as I do right now. So it's a really positive thing. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to quickly touch on, I am three weeks and two days post-op and I haven't had a period yet now I'm not going to let that concern me I think I was due the weird thing is I was on the mini pill for a long time um prior to this and I took myself off it a couple of months ago long story gynae problems or rah 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 but I was due to have a period around a week after surgery I think I thought I planned it quite well if you like and um whether my body's got into a little bit of shock and gone, no, thank you. Don't get me wrong. I'm certainly not complaining about having a period. 
um, because I suffer with endometriosis anyway. So they're extremely painful and I could have done without that whilst healing from, from surgery. And yeah, so I just thought I'd mention it in case anybody else kind of goes through it or knows that they have the same. Because some people I've read about had a period and it's lasted for a long time. Their body's gone into the opposite way of, of, of having a bit of shock from surgery. So I'm very grateful mine's this way round, although I'm sure it's going to hit me like a ton of shit when it does. Um, I think that was it today, really, guys. It's just nothing more to report. Like I said, my husband's in the orangery, so I'm tippy-toeing around. I, don't, I actually don't like him working from home because I can't do what I want to do. Even, like, I wanted to empty the dishwasher just then, and I'm, like, oh, looking at him thinking, shit, I'm making too much noise, and he's on a call, and it's like, Arr. go to work. You've got an office in Pangbourne. Go there. I shouldn't grumble, should I? He works really hard. I'll just tippy toe around today. Anyway, if you haven't already, click like and subscribe. Give us a follow on Instagram, looking on the lighter side of life. This is me today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm about to go shopping and I'm going to make a curry for tea tonight. Take care, people. Bye.